Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We're here everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for the sixth episode of the Gridman Greatness. And in the previous episode we had the beach or river, I called it the river episode because we were really at a beach, but it's the same kind of episode, the same kind of thing, you know, you know what I mean. And that's what we had going on. We also saw Buster Gridman and uh, the only combination we have yet to see actually is I think Vit. So I hope we get that in this episode, if not this episode, then I would assume next week's. Uh, episode for sure because we've had everyone except except Vit. So uh, maybe they're saving the best for last. I don't know. I love all the combinations, but yeah, uh, we're gonna see what we got going on with this episode. We're starting after the opening at a minute and thirty seconds, and we're gonna get started here in three, two, one, play. Nobody from that day remembers anything that happened, apparently. We know Akane remembers. <laughs> and that conversation that they had, yeah. Akane knows who, from that conversation, she knows that Yuta is the one with, with Gridman. And he's kind of starting to pick up on possibly Akane. Something up with her. <laughs> <laughs> but those guys were talking about the them swimming and all that. They they were talking about like pictures and all that. So that's kind of that's something I noticed. I I don't want to pass on that, you know. So that they still go out and like swim, even if they don't remember the actual like what happened with the kaiju and all that, but. Weird. Anti <laughs> never fails. <laughs> Go find him and kill him. <laughs> He's only, he only cares about Gridman, but actually Yuta's related to Gridman, so... Oh... See, now you got his attention. Yep, he's sold. <laughs> there, there he goes. Nah, he do He probably doesn't understand. <laughs> he he doesn't. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I really could use a meal. I really need that meal. <laughs> What's she jamming out to? I hear something. And I also see something, too. <laughs> <laughs> You get what I mean. Hey. Has this place always been called Junk Shop? 
I never noticed that. Now I know they call like the computer and all that like the, like the junk or whatever, but I did not know the actual shop was called junk shop unless they changed it. They never noticed that. I'm gonna be completely honest with you all. <laughs> I don't even know if they ever showed the name of the actual place. Who the heck is this? That's not Auntie. What the hell? Yeah, that is not Auntie. What the? Who the? <laughs> Yo, who is this? Well, another one of them that can turn into a kaiju. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! What the fuck is it? <laughs> that is freaky, yo. <laughs> Oh my god. I feel bad for Auntie. Like you you know, like he has he has to eat from the garbage, you know, like Don't feed the stray cat. You're feeding them, Rika. What are you doing? <laughs> that's mean to me. I, I, I think that's what they were going for, though. You know that that kind of symbolism or whatever you want to say. What is he looking at? Or the food. That's nice of Rika though to feed him. This this man doesn't get any <laughs> food. We all, besides when Akane gives it to him, but that's only when he gets, you know, <laughs> he gets done what she wants or agrees to do what you know what she wants. Caliber's always lurking. I mean, she's feeding the feeding the little boy. Oh, bathing him or about to bathe him? Probably not now. <laughs> the the shops in great hands. <laughs> the shops in great hands. I guess guess she didn't notice him behind her. Oh, Utsumi. <laughs> He's gonna freak. Red King. <laughs> she she likes it a lot. <laughs> this man who means he's gonna <laughs> fall for her more and more and more. Oh, there's more. <laughs> they're, they're always lurking. <laughs> It's probably good though, they're kinda like following the rock, keeping an eye on them. Maybe not intentionally, <laughs> but <laughs> This is probably the first time this kid's ever got a bath, you know? Like Looking 
for Utah. <laughs> she didn't even get, get to hear it of what what he said. You didn't even get to get it out. I don't. I just, who is this? Like we still don't know. Well, you know it's the kaiju, but another. And they're eating at the same place that Rika and Auntie just were. Wow. And there's Max as well. Dude, some of the, some of the shots are just like they make you feel like so. Especially when there's like no music or anything over them, it just it feels so odd sometimes, you know. Like it's just kind of unsettling. Outside the city, nothing, nothing's there. So is this how? I w Wait, what? Now is this after what we what we had in the previous episode? It all became like this, or is this actually? Oh, so this didn't get reset. This part outside the city. Because it was not like this before, I don't think. So we saw how the mountains were and the river and everything in the previous episode. So we had oh, we have Utsumi and and Akane, and then we got Rika and Auntie, and then we have Yuta and whoever that other kaiju is. Like these three separate pairings together right now. It's How is Utsumi going to take this? Like, you know, she's asking about him instead of, like, me. She's, like, very curious about him in particular. So when they're away, when he's away from Akane and all that, this is how it looks outside of the city. But when they're together, like, so if he was with Akane right now, would would the would outside of the city still be like this? You know, would the mountains be there and the river and all that? Or Now you the beans have been spilled to to Utah. Yeah, and we knew that, but the our characters didn't know that. But Utah not knows now, and they're, look how they're animating this. <laughs> this is Minecraft. <laughs> what the? Hell? Then using the kaiju to fix the city as well. So it's not that it just magically everything was fixed. She actually used the kaiju to fix the city. So 
Jeez. Her, the whole city itself has become like a kaiju. Wow. Well, I mean, we saw that with the teacher. That's one of the, that was one of the big cases, like. And a god they didn't even know is like, a god. They did not think of that at all. <laughs> Why would they? You know? You're just probably like, what the hell? This is a lot to take in. Alexis. Being used by Alexis? Which, I mean, you can compare, like, Gridman and Utah to, like, Alexis and, and, uh, and Akure. Yo, we, we've talked about that before. Yeah, these close-up shots of the, of the eyes, man, always are great with this, uh, Utsumi's not really doing a good job of, <laughs> of, uh, He's doing an okay job, but he, you know his ex the expression of him like sweating kind of gives it maybe away a little bit, don't you think? Like how hard she's biting down on the straw too. You can tell it's all like crunch up a little bit. Here's Boar sitting down at the on the side over there. You see her. <laughs> Kaiju that's been here all along. Has Anti been here all along? I guess that's his real name. Anti's real name. Whatever she just said. He or she. I don't even know if it's a a boy or a girl. <laughs> So Anti and and this kaiju have been here, you know, before Akane. They've been here, not taking Akane's whole make kaiju making thing into account. But I'm wondering what Alexis has to do with this. Then, if apparently Alexis has been controlling Akane. Wait, was that name on the sign or like for the train station the same name that she talked about Auntie with? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh, this is not good. Uh oh. Watch how you do. Oh, Max showed just in time. Nice. That's what I was saying. It's good that they're kind of keeping a watch on him, keeping tabs on him, following him around in case something was to happen. <laughs> Caliber. <laughs> Just because Akane told you? <laughs> And Yuta's figured out that he's that, that kaiju. So now he knows there's two, like, people who could just turn into kaijus like that. Damn. I did not think we'd see action like this. Usually it's always with the mechs and whatnot, and the kaiju. <laughs>
<laughs> Everyone's here. Contact. Yeah, contact was definitely made in lots of ways <laughs> between all of our, like almost all of our characters. She's like, what? Like, what are you talking about, dumbass? <laughs> she always throws some in his face, like. Lexus. See, I did not think Alexis is gonna have this kind of like role, apparently, you know, cause, well, I mean, I guess when you look at it, like Alexis is kind of like the, the counter to like Gridman, cause Gridman's like the hero, you know, like the the good guy, and then Alexis the evil, you know, kind of character, the opposite. Uh, so I guess that makes sense that he is gonna have an impact. But how have we saw Alexis up until now? You know, <laughs> like Alexis just been in the computer screen talking to Akane, like "Yeah, go Akane, go!" Just kind of like cheering her on, or like you know, that was that's really all he's been so far. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is a good episode though because not even any mech uh, Gridman versus Kaiju, no fighting or anything like that. Um, but really, just from that one kaiju we saw, and you know, seeing that outside of the city, where you know, Akade is where she's not right now, it's just nothing. <laughs> it's it's all gone, you know. So, uh, so that means that she didn't have the kaiju, what go and fix that part of it because she didn't like it or whatever. I don't know. Or just because she wasn't there. Um, but that's kind of crazy that she's, you know, fixed the city with the kaiju as well. I just thought maybe it was some kind of like supernatural phenomenon going on, but she's actually physically fixing the city with the kaiju. So, uh, yeah, yeah, good stuff. Also, like the city is made into like the shape of a kaiju. <laughs> that was kind of uh, crazy as well. So, uh, yeah, a lot, lot to, that went on in this episode. Utsumi and Akane. Uh, their conversation, Rika and Auntie, um, just those three separate kind of things we had, and with each of our, you know, with Boar, Max, and Caliber following them around and all that, uh, made for a really good episode, even without any real, there wasn't really a lot of fighting. I mean, at the end there with Auntie and Caliber and Max, but that was about it, you know, so uh, good stuff, though. So, yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode of Gridman. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.